Anybody who knows me knows when I get serious about something, I tie my hair back like a black ribbon. This is an elegy to all the things we become before we're done becoming women. One, elegy for the freshman girlfriend whose optimism was buttermilk at the breakfast table, turned sour by a boy for whom my face wasn't pretty in the way he preferred. So I baked my body into a buffet, a pie he could cut into, sample, take a slice of what he liked. Eyes like flies, all the maggoted compliments I swallowed because somewhere this must be a delicacy and somewhere I must be really, really lucky. Though not Christian enough to pray for, not even trophy enough to pay for. I spent half of college trying to get this boy to love me, the other half trying to get over him. Well, that girl, she's been dead for years now, but everybody keeps asking me to conjure up her ghost. Two, ode to the slut who doesn't fuck, but still a slut for not letting him hit. Ladies, there are always two ways of looking at a condom and a wrapper. Open your legs and you won't necessarily find freedom. Close them and you won't necessarily find purity. Purity is just contraception against evil thoughts. Freedom is knowing your hip is a hinge. Use your body at your own discretion and seek your own pleasure. What lies between your thighs, what lies between your thighs is a man's genesis. So how dare he spit upon scripture? To all, to all the women who've been pried open, propped up, and Jada posed, I'm sorry there was no funeral for the going out of your smile and the coming in of strangers. To all the women who've been called hoes, boppers, and skanks, what's in a name but a whole lot of rape culture? What's a slut anyway but a pimp in sheep's clothing? Three, ode to the bitch who's not a bitch just doesn't always feel like shaking hands after the show. You know, I tried to tame the Leo in me. Cut off all my hair to be rid of my ego, but she still comes roaring in like a red dragon, cause she be my protection. A pit bull in a skirt, please. I am a bull mastiff on the scent of a fresh kill, and I am still learning how to heal. Five. Oh, to the surgeons, to the knives, we will deftly in our right hands and the sutures we made of our own mouths when nothing else could close the wound to my first love and how I had to cut him out at 19 and again at 21 and again at 22. Like a field doctor without supplies on the battlefields, I had to improvise. I marched through my own heart armed with nothing and came out the other side. My hands might have been murderers, but my coat was still white and my shirt was still clean six. Oh, to the mothers who are also martyrs, who are also daughters of God and therefore saints. Ladies, how many times, how many times have we tried to save someone with our love? Been bread, butter, and breast done done our best to give good head. I mean, knowledge, wisdom, <laughs> understanding. Oh, to the poet. On my best days, she is all that I am. On my worst days, she is all that I hope to be. Seven owed to the impossible. I am still a redhead in my heart, just like my grandmama. Have traveled to over 20 countries, wake up every day and love what I do, and still wonder if I'm doing enough, if I'm worth enough. And sometimes all this self-doubt gets tiring, more tired than a bag of old diamonds. So I ask myself if today were the last today, would I be okay with the life that I've lived? Would I be okay with the woman that I am now? And then I forgive myself. No matter what the answer, I forgive myself. I forgive myself until there is no more sand left in Egypt. I remember the mountains in my last name and the victory in the middle repeated over and over to myself as if it were a mantra. Alicia Nicole Harris, the unforgotten victory, the victory of the truth. It took me seven years. 
seven whole years, y'all, to go from that girl to this woman. But ain't God good? And ain't I great?